After safety, saving fuel is probably the most important uh, area where we are excellent in. We are at Lucia at User Conference in Brussels and joining me right now is Christoph. My name is Christoph Krüger. I'm working for Lufthansa Systems and my role there is I'm the chief architect for the Lido product line. Any particular reason for joining, for coming to this Lucia at User Conference? We are a long time customer of Lucia already. We are using their visualization capabilities in a product of our, ours. And uh, so that's uh, regularly we are also presenting our work with Luciat here. So we will have a talk tomorrow about what we did this year and uh, how we explored the new technologies from Luciat. Can you tell us more about your company and your profile and what kind of work do you do? Lufthansa Systems is um, an, a company that supports operations and planning of big airlines um, with all sorts of tools. Yeah? So the tool where I am responsible for is called Lido. Um, it's a tool for flight dispatchers and flight supporters, we call them supporters. The other profession, uh, or let's say the service we offer, is not just the software but also a data service. So we provide big airlines and the dispatchers also with quality data about weather, um, about NOTAMs, so traffic announcements for the airliners, and uh, navigational data as well like charts and, and so on. Basically, it's very similar to a navigation tool that we use in our cars. Yes, right. So, But the big difference is that uh, we have to plan every flight ahead of, let's say, actually the takeoff. So um, authorities, rules um, uh, require that we hand over each flight plan three hours before takeoff. And so that's not the not similar to what, what the car navigation system does. But actually, the, the idea is that um, instead of leaving the pilot alone with this flight plan, we also want to support him during flight. Like you are, expect this from your car navigation system as well. And how is it useful for a pilot? Suppose if I'm a pilot or if you are a pilot in using the Luciat software, how will it help me or you? So the pilot himself at the moment does not see the Luciat software. There's a specialist on ground who can see ahead of its airplane. So the pilot normally has a radar on board, can see maybe a hundred miles ahead and look at weather and this kind of stuff. But our ground support can see a thousand miles ahead. He can actually look over half of the globe and see how the situation develops at the destination. And based on the, the information he gets from there, he can um, counsel the uh, pilot in what he should be able to do. For example, there is a congestion at the, at the target destination. He can tell the pilot, oh, it would be nice to take it a little slower so you won't have to get into holding, waste fuel there, and uh, your passengers will be on time uh, still if you take it a little slower. So basically you help a pilot not only navigate but also help uh, airlines save fuel and it's also important for safety. Yes, um, after safety, saving fuel is probably the most important uh, area where we are excellent in. Yeah. So a big part in flight preparation is also to find, based on the, the, the navigational and the weather data, to find the best trajectory around singularities in weather, storms and this kind of stuff, winds and so on, and to optimize the, the flight path so uh, it's most fuel efficient. And since you said that you optimize the fr uh, flight path, so does it mean that, uh, you know, shooting uh, off many, as many flights in a very short period of time? Because we have the, you know, you know the entire system, where is the traffic, where is not less traffic? No, that you can't do this. Yeah, well, actually, there are a lot of rules about this, but our system helps to obey these rules. So actually, today, it wouldn't be possible for a person to do this. It's only possible with, with computers. I think within Europe, we have about 1,800 rules that regulate traffic in various areas. So, and one, um, one dispatch alone cannot be efficient in, on this uh, amount of data. And which are all the companies that you're working with? What all aircrafts do you use your software? Our software is used by, I would say, the bigger companies, the bigger airline companies. So we have customers, of course, Lufthansa. Uh, we have 65 customers in total at the moment. And it starts from companies having about 10 aircraft or more up to, let's say, China Southern with over 500 aircraft at the moment. So British Airways, Air France KLM, Etihad, Emirates, Qatar, this, this is the kind of customer that we serve. How is it different from a proper, uh, you know, a basic navigational tool, how is your software different from them? Well, I think uh, what the capability that we want to uh, achieve with the software is to get in more data sources than the normal navigation is. For example, we are taking into account weather, other radar pictures, we are taking into account things like clear air turbulences. So, and the system is basically open 
to uh, get in also customer information. So some customers have, for example, they have special needs. They need a specific type of satellite image to be shown. And that's what, what we can also achieve. This is uh, customizing their, their software to the customer's needs in, um, yeah, with respect to the data source he wants to see to okay. optimize his operation. And what exactly do you need? Does your software need GPS data? Do you need lots of uh, imagery, satellite imagery? What kind of stuff that you require for your software to run? In addition to, to weather and navigational basic data like the, the waypoints on the Earth, we also need cost information. Um, we also have performance information about each individual aircraft. So how are the turbines running? What's their, their, their uh, let's say, economic uh, point where to, to run them? Um, we also have uh, NOTAMs, which is traffic information in the air. Um, we are using uh, satellite images, wind uh, information. We use um, so-called natural hazard, mm -hmm. uh, which is volcanic ash cloud mm -hmm. information and also based on laser imagery and, and this kind of stuff. So. Uh, a lot of data goes into that equation to, let's say, find the, the, the best solution and the most fuel efficient path. Yeah. What is the strength of your company? How many employees do you have over there? Lufthansa Systems has about 1,500 employees and in my area we are about 300. Christopher, it was great talking to you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.